sneaky go. Let's have a quick look at her, then we're going to go back and get closer to that youngster. I thought she might have snuck off after those Impala, in which case we'd obviously want to follow her. It seems she just wanted to move into the grass a bit more. I think the main reason is where she was lying, where those Impala were moving, it was possible for them to spot her. Where she is now, she's just got a bit of a, like a ring of grass around her almost. As long as she keeps her head down a little bit, she can easily observe them, but wouldn't have to worry too much about being seen by the Impala. Let's go have a look at that youngster again. just beautiful now again cannot highlight enough how special it is to see this kind of thing like I said early leopards are incredibly adaptable they can live in all kinds of habitats and environments and they still do lots of farming areas even where people try and poison them hunt them shoot them trap them anything they can do to kill them leopards still are able to maintain a population and to to thrive even but they become incredibly surreptitious they get to a stage where seeing a leopard is sometimes harder than seeing a ghost also become very very nocturnal then as soon as they have a lot of pressure on them from humans essentially not the case here in Sabi Sands Kruger in general Sabi Sands especially it's been many generations now where they don't get bothered by humans so they've become used to us and from that they actually become more active in daytime again traditionally leopard used to be more active in daytime but it's just because of human pressure that they became super nocturnal because of that we get to see this kind of thing but it's not many places in the world not many places in Africa where you can sit this close to a young leopard the mother behind you literally we're sitting in the middle of them and uh, neither of them are bothered at all their behavior is pretty much the same as if we weren't here this young leopard would still have been sleeping up in the branch it really is mind-blowing <laughs> sometimes I have to pinch myself early days of guiding when I was a youngster growing up and loving wildlife seeing a leopard was like one of those dreams you have and then I started guiding here at Juma quite a few years ago and the first few days the first few weeks of seeing leopard like this literally literally blew my mind you couldn't imagine that you can that you can observe leopard like this I've worked in reserves where there are lots of leopard but you might see a leopard once in three months if you're lucky and then it might be far off in a bush or up on a mountain so again this opportunities we have here sit this close there, I mean, we're only about 8 or 10 meters away at the moment it really is very very special <laughs> going to climb around a bit for us as well maybe try and get deeper into that bush not quite sure what it's doing now Look at that tail tip. White underneath, a good following mechanism. Good for balance as well. Oh, there's a bird making a noise in there. That's, oh, a squirrel, not a bird. Oh, here's the other cub coming as well. Just saw a flash of movement in the back. Can't see it now. It's running behind this bush. So it's on the ground, but on the far side of this bush from this youngster. We'll go a bit forward. Very difficult if they go down here. There's a drainage line, a little, like a small stream below this tree in a steep bank, very, very thick bush in there. Might be able to get a car around that side as well. Near the squirrel making alarm calls now. Uh, station, just to update again, just spotted the other Mompimpan as well. Both Mompimpans here um, in quite a thick sort of bush latin section just try 
one. Oh, there is. <laughs> oh, difficult to see. That one just almost fell out of a tree. So if you can see right down the bottom there. Just a little bit of movement. I was climbing up. These things are so agile. They're almost like monkeys sometimes. And this looks like the other cupboard. It's very difficult to see. They were both behind there, but just from where it's come from. This is the other youngster. It's a shame we haven't seen them for so long. Almost been... I'm trying to think when last I saw these two youngsters. It's been quite a while. And they've grown in that time to get used to them again. <laughs> they are just beautiful. Yan Yan. Quickly, 